Welcome. In front of me is a Asus ZenPad 3S. Now today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So I'm gonna start off by actually going to the place where it's gonna show that the device is locked. So yeah. Now in the process that I'm doing that, you want to connect to Wi-Fi and just go back to the beginning page. And there we go. So you can see verify your account. So I'm locked out basically. So I'm already connected to Wi-Fi and I only need to go back to the first page and from here settings and the gear icon right there and go to talkback, enable that and probably before we begin enabling this you want to mute the sound otherwise this will get really annoying and from there yeah, let's enable it okay and I, apparently that didn't do anything there we go so now so once you see this page right here what you want to do is just draw an l on the screen as you can see once you do it brings up this menu and from here tap on the talkback settings and it gets selected and double tap on it to accept it and now because we won't be able to really scroll scrolled on this as you can see you want to disable talkback settings so hold volume up and volume down both of them at the same time it brings up this suspend talkback yep tap on ok then double tap it and now we can use it so scroll down go to help and feedback tap on the search button right here and search for morse code um, now once you just type in three letters it pops up with use morse code so select that Tap on the video, it will load it up, and then you can tap on the three dots right here. And this will give us the option to watch later, which opens up our web browser. Except we don't want to sign in. And then let's tap on it once more. So now let's tap on the search field right here and navigate into hard reset that info. Okay, now let's go to the download category right here and in the download field you want to number one search for Android 7.1.2 Now let's search for that and there it is so bypass uh, Android Cool, let's tap on download scroll down tap on download once more and confirm allow okay and open it up let's go to settings now before we can install we will need to allow unknown sources as you can see so check that on confirm it and go back and we want to go back to the download folder so tap on the three dots right here and go to the downloads and there's the app that we have downloaded so tap on it now let's go next and install and once it's installed i'm gonna tap on done and now let's go back let's go back once more and in a download field now you want to search for settings so let's get rid of that and then settings like so and you can tap on the download for this one um, download once more okay and open install and this time you want to open that up and this will bring us to the settings obviously and and the settings we will want to do a couple things so number one we're gonna go into security um, options wherever that is download and just search for it quickly there we go security and we're looking for device administrator there we go stop on it and where you have the find my device you want to disable that deactivate and let's go back back once more and from here we're gonna go into apps which is right here 
Now before I proceed, I'll give a little tip. Uh, if you manage to tap uh, back too many times, it will go back to the web browser. And to open this back up, you will basically need to reinstall the settings app and again tap on open as you basically the same way you got here to begin with. Uh, and then proceed from where you left off. So that is if you tap the back button too many times and you kind of leave this uh, app right here. So from here, let's go into the settings. And let's select right here and show system. And we're looking for Google services. So yeah, there it was. Um, so let's see. Google Play services right here. Disable, disable up, come back. And we're also looking for Google Account Manager. So it's right here. Also disable, disable app. And now let's go back, back once more. And we're in our main settings page. So from here, we're gonna go to accounts. Um, there we go, accounts account and choose Google and then here you can log in with whatever account you want now if you don't have an account you can always create one even though you have a button right here I would strongly advise to do it on the computer it's just gonna be easier and probably less cumbersome and once you create one you can then use it to log in now I won't be needing to create one I already have an account so that's what I'm gonna use uh, and you want to use your own Step on next, and I'm gonna put in a password. So let me do that off the screen. And then tap into login. There we go. Step on I agree. Uh, disregard this, uh, the app will now be crashing, uh, but it doesn't actually matter anymore. The app did its, its thing, which was allow us to actually choose the Google. That's uh, what the first app that we downloaded did. Basically, when you add the account, it shows us the option to add a Google account. So once you're logged in, we will want to go back to the apps and re-enable the two apps that we have turned off. So let's again go to the show system and scroll down to Google. There we go. So we have the Google Play services right here. Enable. Go back and find the other one. There we go. Google Account Manager. Enable. And go back. And once you enable those two apps, hold power button and select restart. Now you do not need to enable the Find My Device. Just keep it off. Um, you just need to enable the two Google accounts or apps. Okay, so from here, let's just exit this. Can I touch it normally? No, okay. So let's just disable this or suspend it again by holding volume up and down. Go, okay. And from here, let's go to the setup process as you would normally do. So, setup is new. Now at this moment, it doesn't really matter how we set up our device. Uh, it's technically still locked. But as you can see, this is the page that previously told us to verify our account. And now it says account added. And there's the account that we have provided right before the reboot of the device. So I just tap on next and completely bypass that. So once we're on the home screen, we'll need to perform a reset all the device through these settings. And this will then fully unlock the device. So, like I said, the, at this moment, the device is still locked. So, let's just wait for this to do whatever it's doing. It's up on next. Uh, I'm gonna skip this, next. 
Uh, no thanks, and next, skip anyway. Next, next, um, next, done. So now that we're on the home screen, let's just go into the settings. So you can pull down the notification panel as this blue gear icon right here. This will take us to the settings. From here, you want to scroll all the way down to backup and reset and choose factory data reset. And once you tap on it, it gives several uh, things that it will remove. So you have your accounts and provides the account that it will remove. Also, it will remove the other one that was blocking us to begin with, which that's basically what we want to do now. And all the other stuff, uh, apps and stuff like that doesn't really matter. The apps that we downloaded are not needed anymore. So reset device, uh, please type number. Okay, so 6632, erase everything. Now your number will be probably different than mine, so keep that in mind. And the process will begin. So this might take a couple minutes, but once it's finished, we should be back in the setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible. And as you can see, now the process is finished. So now let's go to the setup process of the device once more. And this time around, you can set it up as however you like. And the device is now fully unlocked. So number one, we can skip the Wi-Fi connection, as you just seen. It's not needed anymore. We don't need to verify anything. So let's up on my agree. Go forward. Next. Now I'm skipping through most of this, but like I said, you can set it up as however you like. And that's it. The device is now unlocked. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.